Opening day of Higgs season in Chile was met with strong winds and heavy rain, but nothing could have stopped this fisherman from Valparaiso. By law, they had to stop catching the severely overexploited species for a month to let it breed. And unfortunately, the first day back in business was a disappointment. We went out on the first day of fishing and this is all we have caught today. Every day, the catch is less and less good. We keep catching less fish. I'm not sure what will happen to us, artisanal fishermen of Chile. Only a few decades ago, hake used to abound in Chilean waters, and it still remains an emblematic ingredient of local cuisine. But excessive industrial and illegal fishing have caused about 40% of the hake population to disappear, according to biologists. The catch size is increasingly small, a clear sign of premature sexual maturity in the fish, as well as chronic damaging of the eggs. If the catch rate stays the same, there will be no future for hake. There will be no future for any fish in the ocean. We must make sure we reduce the catch rate to find a compromise between the people who live off this resource and the ecosystem, which also needs this resource. We need to find a way to reduce the catch rate and bring it back to a long, lasting level. A recent study done by the Worldwide Fund for Nature says marine life has been slashed by half since 1970 due to pollution, industrial fishing and climate change. Measures to reduce fishing, like quotas set up by the Chilean government, are useful, but clash with the needs of artisanal fishermen who leave off their catch. For them, operating outside fishing parameters is a matter of survival. I think that today there are more positive effects than in past years. However, we still need to solve the problem of illegal fishing, which happens during the ban. There will always be someone to break the law, and it also happens during the year, as fishermen are required to report how much fish they've caught, but some catch more than what they say. Scientists say it will take up to 15 years for the Hague species to recover from the current crisis. Even if extinction is unlikely, Hague will certainly disappear from our plates when fishing is no longer profitable.